And now we are going to introduce the concept of reducible and irreducible representation. But uh, first of all, we are going to introduce the concept of invariant subspace. So let gamma of G be a representation of a group G in a vector space Rn of dimension n. If exists a subspace R1, so R1 is a subspace of Rn, okay, of the dimension m inferior to n, such as no matter what uh, the vector x1 belonging to the subspace R1, gamma of a multiplied by x1 belongs to R1. This means that if you multiply the matrix associated to the element A in the representation gamma multiplied by x1, okay, you will, if x1 is a vector of this subspace R1, the product will also belong to the subspace R1. And this is no matter what element A belong to G. Okay, this is, must be valid for all the elements of A of the group. So then this R1, this subspace, is called an invariant subspace. Okay. Then if we have an invariant subspace, okay, the representation of any element A of the group can be expressed as, so the matrix can be expressed as, a block form here, okay, so gamma 1 T0 gamma 2 with gamma 1 of dimension M by M. So this is in the subspace R1. Gamma 2 of dimension N minus M multiplied by N minus M. So this is the matrix of the representation in the complementary subspace, okay, to R1. And here we have a zero matrix so uh, and here a matrix that can be non-zero okay, of dimension m multiplied by n minus n okay so now we are going to prove that okay that if there exists an invariant subspace so we have this property Okay, then all the matrices of all the elements of the group can be expressed at this form. Is this form? Okay. okay, so now for simplicity, I will note the representation of the element A right, as big A. So this is a matrix of, so if Gamma is a representation in the space Rn of dimension n. Okay, so A is a matrix that is n by n. Okay. So A acts on a vector in Rn, right, which has n coordinates. Okay, and now we consider that there is a subspace R1. So R1 is of dimension M. Okay. So let's say that these first M vector, okay, I will denote them as the vector x1 and the corresponding vector, so xm plus 1. till xn, this is the vector x2. So this would be x1 and this would be x2, all right? So basically uh, an invariant subspace, if it exists in the invariant subspace, this means that a multiplied by x1, okay, belongs to r1. Right, so I can I can note the vector okay x 
as x1, x2. All right. And when I say a multiplied by x1 means that I'm 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 doing something. Okay. I consider that the x1 belongs to r1, so the coordinate in the subspace r2 that is complementary of the subspace r1, okay, is zero. So because x1 belongs to r1. Now, if you take now a matrix, okay, you can, I will denote my matrix here, okay, gamma 1, gamma 2, let's see, T and Q, all right. So, this is of dimension, my matrix is dimension n by n, but here I decomposed it by blocks okay the blocks and this is a block and uh, of m by m dimension this is a block of dimension n by n minus m this is n minus m by m and this is n minus m multiplied by n minus m Right. So now if x1 is a vector in R1, right, I will denote it like this. If I make the product here, I get gamma 1 x1, right, plus 0, q x1. Plus gamma two multiplied by zero. Sorry. So if this vector belongs to R one, this means that okay, no matter what x one belongs to R one, this means that Q the matrix Q is zero, right? And then any representation of any element, right, the gamma of A can be written as a matrix here gamma one, a matrix gamma two. So, right, a matrix here of dimension n by n minus m that is that can be non zero and n zero, here, right? A matrix zero. Okay, so <clears throat> now, of course, we can find several subspace. So, if we find another invariant subspace, okay, here I will have gamma three. All right, and uh, so if, let's say we have find three subspace, so three invariant subspace, then I will have this, All right? Something here non zero, something here non zero, All right? Gamma two of a, something here non zero, gamma, and on the diagonal, gamma three of a, All right? And zero, 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 All right? So <clears throat> this property, this is a property of the environment subspace. And now I am going to introduce the concept of reducible and irreducible representation. So if, let's consider that we have a representation gamma of a group G. Okay. If by a, an appropriate choice of transformation of coordinates, we can bring the matrices associated to uh, any element A of G, we can bring it into the following form. This means that we can find a uh, at least one invariant subspace R1. Right? Then the representation is said to be reducible. Uh, <clears throat> in addition now, if the complementary subspace R2 okay, is also invariant, this means that no matter what vector belongs to R2, if you multiply gamma of A by a vector X2 of R2, it belongs to R2. So 
uh, if we proceed um, the same way that we did before okay but now with r2 so this matrix here becomes zero and then we have a diagonal block diagonal matrix okay with here gamma 1 of a gamma 2 of a now these are representation so this is gamma 1 of a is the representation of the elements a in the subspace r1 gamma 2 is the representation of a in the subspace r2 right of dimension m of dimension n minus m by n minus m etc so if we cannot reduce uh if the these blocks cannot be further uh, re uh be reduced in diagonal decomposed into diagonal blocks so this these here are called a reducible representation of the group g All right so <clears throat> these representation that cannot be uh decomposed into block uh, diagonal uh, further reduced further are called irreducible representation all right so uh so all the elements of g must be brought in the following form and if we can do that right so the representation gamma is said to be completely reducible okay if we can if r2 is also invariant subspace so this representation gamma is said to be completely reducible and these representation gamma 1 and gamma 2 are said to be irreducible representation it means that they cannot be reduced all right now the decomposition of gamma into gamma 1 and gamma 2 okay is written the following way okay so gamma is equal gamma 1 plus gamma 2 this is what we call the jordan decomposition now in uh the most general case is where we have several invariant subspace all right so uh and in general we can decompose a reducible representation into a following uh block uh diagonal so each element okay if gamma is a reducible representation completely reducible representation okay we can decompose gamma into the following uh, block diagonal matrices so each element of the group and this is an important remark all right so if we have a given matrix we can always bring this matrix by an appropriate choice of coordinate like is the this uh, choice of coordinate is the 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 eigenvectors okay in the basis of the eigenvector of this matrix so the matrix will become diagonal but this is not what we are doing here what we are doing is that each of the matrices associated to the elements okay of 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 the group i brought in the diagonal form the same way this means that if here i have a matrix n1 by n1 all right for the element b i will have also a matrix and one by n1 that can be different of course than the matrix associated to the element a but it's the same size and here if i have all right a matrix and two by n2 here also I have a matrix and two by n2 also that can be different etc so these here these ways of representing the elements a b c the elements of the group these blocks that cannot be further reduced right uh, into block diagonal are said to be a reducible representation so gamma one is a an irreducible representation 
of the group. We will see that these irreducible representation are property of the group, right? So there is a limited number of irreducible representation, okay? And these are property of the group. No matter what is the representation, right? Uh, gamma here, okay? It will always find the same irreducible uh, representation. So the decomposition of a given representation into a reducible representation is called the Jordan decomposition. So generally, this decomposition is denoted by gamma is m1 gamma 1 plus m2 gamma 2 plus mn gamma n. Where these mi here, m1, m2, mn, represent the number of times the irreducible representation gamma i is present in the reducible representation gamma. What this means? This means that if I decompose my my uh, representation gamma by an appropriate choice of coordinate, and I can completely uh, reduce it the following way, I can find here gamma 1 and at this position, for example, gamma 1 of A, at this position, gamma 1 of B, Okay, I can find two times gamma 1. So here, one time here, one time here, one time here, one time here, etc. So if I found two times the matrix gamma 1, I put two here. So it's two gamma 1 plus. We will see after how, if we have a given uh, representation, how to derive the Jordan decomposition by using the character of the representation directly. So we'll not have to make operations um uh, like uh, pass through a transformation of coordinate and things like this so we'll have directly this decomposition uh, in a very simple manner all right so this is a very important um notion a reducible representation is a representation that can be brought into a block diagonal form the following way right for all the elements of the group. And these blocks that cannot be reduced further are called irreducible representations. And they are property of the group, okay, as we will see later. This means there is a limited number of irreducible representation. And the size of, of, of each of the irreducible representation also is uh, a property of the group. For example, for a given group, we can find like two irreducible representation of dimension one, two of dimension two, etc. And that's it. There will be for a given group, for example, four irreducible representations, okay, uh, possible. Okay, so any representation of this group can be decomposed into these irreducible representations.